Good morning. How's everybody doing? I don't understand this fucking video. morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, full disclosure, I am super hungover this morning um, and really tired because I did not sleep well. Whenever I have more than two drinks, I don't sleep well. Um, shame on me. Hi, Glody. Shame on me because I absolutely know better. I truly know better. Um, and I did it anyway. And then I came home and like jumped Michael's bones, apparently. So I guess that's a plus. Um, I want to say that um, Michael and I yesterday um, donated to um, a few different charities or organizations that are managing um, the situation in Texas best that it can be managed. I know that federal aid was sent to Texas, but yesterday, um, we, um, we made some donations this morning. I posted, um, on my Instagram page ways that you can help. Um, if you cannot help financially, which a lot of people cannot right now, you can, um, you can use empathy and you can pray because I do believe that prayer works. Um, so anyway, just thoughts for Texas right now because, you know, people don't understand. It's not the politicians who suffer. It's not like um, Texas freezes over and Ted Cruz uh, is, is in his house freezing. It's mostly, uh, marginalized communities and poor people that are suffering. It's not the politicians you think you hate or you do hate or whatever. It's like people, it's like people like you and I. So just try to remember that when you're angry I understand it is very hard to see Senator Ted Cruz get on a plane in first class and fly to Cancun with his family while Texas is literally in dire straits. That is hard to watch. I can see why people in Texas are enraged right now at the audacity and lack of like, read the room, Ted, read the room. Your state is frozen. Literally, fish tanks are frozen. Fish are dying. Animal people are dying. Their limbs are freezing. They're having to get, like, their arms amputated. Maybe it's not the best time to go to Cancun. But, but, um, Texas is hurting, and they need, it's the people of Texas that are hurting. So, that's all I'm saying. When 
when when you feel like certain states are too blue for your liking or too red for your liking, please remember these are families. They're families and they're suffering. Um, and I love Texas and God bless Texas truly. Anyway, what was yesterday's secret? Oh, I did have a secret yesterday. I did. It'll come to me. I don't know what it is right now, but I did have a secret yesterday and it will come to me. So thank you for um, reminding me, even though, um, even though I can't remember. Um, anyway, so I want to say something. We, we need water. Yes, I know. So we, so um, guys, if you can um, donate or help Texas at all, um, you can go to my Instagram, um, Mary, maybe you could put the, just the Instagram link. Um, but anyway, um, it was not appropriate for Ash Wednesday. I believe that. Um, okay, I want to say something really quick. Um, it is not a difficult step to acknowledge that something you may have said or done hurt somebody that you cared about. I don't know why we see this as a sign of weakness. It is a beautiful thing to be able to look at someone you love and say, what I said or what I did or what I may not have said or what I may not have done hurt you and I would not, not ever want to hurt you. So I don't know why we Um, um, all right, Susan, let's not do that, Susan. Let's not do that. I'm fucking exhausted. We spent five years fighting. Can we not? Um, we associate acknowledgement with weakness. I just want you to know that acknowledging that, um, that you hurt someone is not weakness. I think it is truly one of the bravest, strongest things you can do. Truly one of the bravest, strongest things you can do. And if you owe someone an apology right now and you're sitting on that apology, give it. Give it away freely. Give it away. You can't take the hurt and the pain and the guilt and the shame. You can't take it with you when you go. Give it away. If you hurt someone, say you're sorry. They don't have to forgive you, but you have done the right thing. It's, it's all about your test and your character and your journey and self-growth. And I know like people are like, oh, Jamie hogwash, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you, acknowledging that you have done something to hurt someone you love is like one of the most powerful things you can do for somebody who feels like your actions have hurt them and you don't care. There is swift apologies are crucial. Now, some, apolo some apologies better late than never, by the way. So like if it's been a long time, by all means, still offer it. 
But I just want you to know that if you are withholding an apology, you're afraid to apologize, you feel weak apologizing, you feel like, oh, I don't know how it's going to be received. What if she doesn't accept it? What if he doesn't accept it? It doesn't matter. They don't have to accept it. You, you literally like... Apologies are, are brave and they're important and they're character building and they really will set you free because in the end of the day, it will be like so appreciated. And I know there are people watching right now going, oh, I don't know, Jamie, she doesn't want to hear from me. He doesn't want to hear from me. It's too late. Too much time has passed or she's not going to accept it or whatever. Now, We've done a million videos on learning to accept the apology you're never going to get. We certainly know that some apologies are not coming. But if we can get to people um, before that, right? For example, yes, we understand that um, some apologies will never come. You're also not required to accept every apology. You can say thank you for apologizing and then you can choose how you want to internalize it or not. Intent is 98% of the law with apologies. Did the person intend to hurt you? Also, I want you to know something. I know that you guys are really going to get mad at me right now. This is usually when my inner voice goes, Jamie, stop talking, shut up. But I want to tell you something. Last night when I came home, I wasn't drunk, but I was definitely buzzed and like feeling no pain. And I came inside and Michael was already in bed and I was like, are you sleeping? And he was like, I am trying to. And I was like bouncing all over the room, trying to get uh, my clothes off, trying to get my boots off, blah, 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 blah. And I literally like took advantage of that man. I literally like gave him not a lot of option pulled the covers back and was like, here's what we're about to do. And he was like, Oy, okay, let's go. And I want to just say that the reason I share that with you is because I am living proof that alcohol lowers your inhibitions. I'm not saying that we don't know what we're doing when we're drunk. We do. We know what we're doing. We just don't care as much. And we like literally one of the effects of alcohol is actually lowering your inhibitions. It actually like, did you know that depression actually lowers your inhibitions? Depression can actually make it hard to discern if you are making good choices. So if you couple depression with a couple of drinks and you uh, do things that might require an apology, um, I want you to know that um, some people may say, um, you were drunk, like you knew what you were doing. Yes, 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 yes. You, you might know what you're doing when you hurt someone, but it doesn't always mean that you were of sound mind uh, and body. It doesn't always mean that you, you, it's all about intent is what I'm trying to say. It's like, oh, okay. Anyway, my, I'm having trouble forming a thought, which is not good because I have a huge day at work. But let me just finish with this. If you are withholding an apology from someone right now, please, please. Okay, so Lindsay, um, you said my absolute main thing, don't use alcohol as an excuse. You knew what you were doing 
at the time. And let me just say this. It isn't that we don't know what we are doing. God willing, we're not like blackout drunk. We're just like buzzed and happy. But side effect of alcohol is literally to lower your inhibitions to your process for consequence is actually diminished. So at the time, your mind is not able to discern how bad that decision is. That's literally a side effect of alcohol. So the better thing is not to say don't use alcohol as an excuse. Um, uh, no, Marcy, you don't ever owe your narcissistic abuser an apology. What you need to do is leave. Um, I, I, what I'm saying is, anyway, I, I'm getting off the path here because it doesn't really matter. Um, all I'm saying is, it is a very brave and important thing to apologize, to acknowledge that something that you did or maybe didn't do hurt someone you love. That is brave and that is necessary for your journey, for your healing, for your growth, for your whatever. So if you can offer an apology, you doesn't mean that you agree with the person or that you did it intentionally. Sometimes we think if we apologize, it means we did it intentionally. No, you can do shit on accident. You can do shit whatever and be like, huh, I didn't mean to do that or I didn't mean to hurt you, but it hurt you, period. And for that, I am truly sorry. Y'all, that is a gift. We got to work on that. We got to all get better at that. Okay. Um, I am going because I, um, I have a huge day at work and I really need to shake this off like Taylor Swift. Um, yes, Tila, absolutely. You should say, um, obviously I did something. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, I would like to apologize. When you are ready to talk to me, please know that I am here, period. You will feel so good. And you may not hear from her and you may hear from her in a month, who knows. But I love you so much and I hope that you have a great, great day.